Sherman, Russell Stone. Set me up, man. I was all I was all into it and dancing and then and then Brussels sprouts. <laughs> you know, there there is a truth there in that, you know, both uh, me and those vegetables are good roasted. Uh, <laughs> that's the only truth I have for you on that. <laughs> wow. It's an easy job tonight, I see. We're all a little roasted. I actually got roasted in the heat. I don't know if anybody was outside over the weekend. It was a little brutal. It was, it was, I'm still sweating. I, I am. It was, it was the most brutal weekend. We were invited, us circus freaks were invited out to a festival called Chalk This Way. It was, it was amazing. And midway through the day, a gift rolled in in the form of a big green storm. And it was like 900 degrees outside. It's like 895 today, it's, 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 it's easy, but it's like 900 degrees and suddenly there's this green sky, ominous wicked witch sort of moment coming. Uh, it's kind of... <laughs> And there it was. We were, we were there, ignoring the band. <laughs> and, we, and we were there, and we watched a storm cloud go in, and there's two ways this can go. There's a festival can kind of ignore this and go, well, you know, it's over when it's over, or they can get really responsive and deal with the problem. They did in the most amazing way. And first of all, I got to shout out Chalk This Way and the, Lewis, uh, the Louisville Arts Center for opening the doors to their theater and daring to give the circus freaks their own stage. Oh, thank you. Oh, I see what you, yeah, you get, I think they have their own acronym, though. I don't, I don't know what it is. I, I'll look it up. So, look, a pretty fire. Oh, yeah, it's, it's really nice. So, there, you know, there we were being moved inside to our own theater, and it had a disco ball and everything. So, we were really comfortable in this venue. And so, we did a show that we didn't plan for because we were street performers. So, we had a lot of experience doing that. And we were completely prepared for it because of this thing we do every week where we have no plan and we have a disco ball. And, you know, it, 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 was, it was a lot like being here, only we were in front of children. Then again, children, drunk adults, pretty much the same thing. It's, it's, it's pretty much the same material except for the burlesque. You're true. Not always. So... There was a wrinkle I haven't shared yet, and I probably shouldn't, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell a story. So before the festival started, the, the promoter and I are friends. We've done this about three years, and, and, and she says to me, she goes, we took some feedback from the kids, and they don't want any clowns. <laughs> and after a little more information, I found out what this actually meant was we don't want any more red nose makeup. Well, we've never sent that because it scares the hell out of people. We, we send nine-foot-tall trees and, and, and rag dolls that dance and, and idiots with knives. <laughs> you know, the safe stuff, yeah. The family-friendly safe idea. So we said, no problem. And we did our show. And it was great. And this is where I, I learned, so thank you. This is where I learned something from a child. We did our show, and this little kid walks up to me, and her name is Addison. Addison. Or George. Either way, the show, it was a weird moment. So, okay, so the kid, the kid comes up and says, what's your name? Addison! She screams. We, we call her Addison. She goes, no, 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 it's, it's, it's not how you say it. So it's, okay, George, Susan, Stephanie. I mean, really, just whatever name came up, we just used whatever name we had, and we just kept giving her different names. So she came up first to correct me about her name, and then she said, where's your nose? I said, excuse me? She says, you're a clown. Where's your nose? We had never called ourselves clowns. I said, go on. She goes, well, you're a clown. You, you should have a nose. I said, well, you know, frankly, to be honest, the noses freak people out. And she says, that's stupid. You should glue noses all over your face. <laughs> and so at that moment, I told her that I'd be stealing that joke and possibly that gag. And that 
without question in my mind, this was the best thing I'd ever been told, the best advice. I don't know what makes you a freak. We're all kind of freaky here. Every, I know what some of you, and I don't want it repeated out loud, because I know some of that information. <laughs> Why are we all looking at you? Um, you know what's neat about that is I'm completely blind. I just cast a gaze out in that direction. A whole bunch of people turned red. <laughs> Except for the ginger down front. He was, he was already red. All right. It's so good to not be at a children's festival. What can I tell you? Let me get this out of the way. Hell. Okay. So whatever your, whatever your, whatever your particular freak is, whatever it is, be proud of it and glue it all over your face. That's my advice to you. <laughs> I always go out in the world, I always go out in the world with lessons from this place and I use them to make my shows better. I finally have something, I finally have something to take back from the kids to you and that is glue your weirdness all over your face and just enjoy it. Welcome to the open stage. <laughs>